status report on trustees of the trust funds. Do you want to start with that? Yield. Sure. <laughs> Last week, the board um, voted four to one, four to, one to uh, issue a letter to the trustees of the trust funds uh, reminding them of the obligations they have that were imposed by the Attorney General's office in an earlier letter, November 20th, and also to remind them of, of inquiries that would be uh, helpful to elucidate whether or not uh, Mackinson and Company is still is has ties to Warren Mackinson, which are factors that some of the trustees, when they met with this board, indicated would be relevant to their decision making as to whether to continue with Mackinson and Company. Since this letter, I have received some inquiries from Chairman Silberdeck asking me various mechanical questions, uh, one of which was about uh, how to, uh, whether a meeting could be conducted with only a portion of the trustees there in person and others there by uh, a, a means that would allow interaction with the public. And that is possible um, by RSA, the right to know law. Um, no meeting has yet been scheduled. A couple of dates were thrown out, and uh, verification was made as to whether personnel would be available to broadcast those uh, as the selectmen have uh, requested. Uh, we've yet to see a meeting scheduled, however. Uh, there are some, um, also an inquiry was made to me about who would have uh, expertise in the area of securities law that the trustees <coughs> could hire if they cho chose uh, by way of outside counsel. And I have provided them some names, having done a little inquiry of that, um, including the Attorney General's office. A um, couple of uh, undercurrents that the board needs to be aware of. There seems to be still some thought that the uh, trustees uh, are being driven by uh, a member of this board to do what the Attorney General's office has told them they need to do. Um, another is uh, whether or not um, they need to uh, have Mr. Mays there at one of their meetings so that he can be personally questioned publicly about those items that they have uh, said are relevant to them in their, in their decision making. Uh, Mr. Mays has sent a letter to the trustees. Uh, I've shared that with the selectmen. Mm -hmm. And um, frankly, I, I don't believe that they are, uh, <coughs> all the questions they need to ask have been answered. So that's just uh, the status of where this stands. Questions? Mr. Bridal. Well, I have a couple of thoughts on this. First, the issue before the trustees, I believe, is being confused by Mr. Silberdick. This is not an issue of Mr. Bean pushing around the trustees. It is a public confidence vote. The, the public has a right to be concerned about the SCC agreement as it relates to the Mackinson and Company. The Board of Selectmen have voted 4-1 to one to express their concern to, that we believe that the trustees may not be taking this situation seriously enough. I believe it must be properly explored to be in the public's interest is protected. At this point, it appears that it's not being done. I highly recommend that the trustees fully explore the situation, inform the public of what is being done, so they may be confident that the trust funds are safe and being properly invested. Mrs. Wall's life. No. Mr. Bean. I endorse what Mr. Bridal says. Thank you. Mr. Waddell. Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, not a scientific poll or anything, but I've made sure that any time I'm in an event lately and everything, I ask people their opinion on this, and I've asked a lot of people from, you know, all town residents, all town taxpayers, um, in the banking industry, business owners. I went down and spoke with one ex-state uh, uh, elected official who's a business owner, very well respected, and every single solitary person I have talked with has said, this should be looked at more uh, in more detail than it has been. It has not been transparent. And the, a lot of them just voiced that Mackinson should be dropped. Now, that's not maybe for us to say, 
But I mean, I have not had one one of these people say to me, "Oh, it looks fine. It looks good." The, everybody and, and a lot of people and a lot of very important people and people that know what they're talking about. I will confirm also that this is a popular topic of conversation, and a lot of people have asked me, and I haven't. You know, people seem to be somewhat appalled. You know, whether they understand it fully, it's, you know, hard to say. Well, you know, one person I spoke with has been involved with this for years and years and years and was part of the legislation to uh, 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 putting the legislation in to have people borrow from it at one time. So I think he knew a little bit about what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure, though, if there are other attorneys hired, they do have to come to the Board of Selectmen to get permission, correct? That's correct, in ter if they wish to have the town pay for that attorney. Because mm -hmm. this board is in charge of the uh, legal department budget for outside counsel. The trustees themselves have no independent line for that. And uh, that's correct. Any other questions? Mr. Welch? No, sir. To say? Okay. Any